YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a little bit of Boom Boonger news or Boom Boonger like pre news. God, that really sounds awful. I hate saying that. It's just so obnoxious. But anyway, so there's been like some descriptions released of how a lot of the things look. I thought about covering it, but we're pretty close to when uh, all the pictures come out, although I'm covering this. But there was a sketch, and I wanted to talk about it because I think, and I'll put it up right now, you can kind of see how it looks, kind of like a sketch based off of what the descriptions and stuff are. And I think some people that are like, you know, insiders have seen them, but they can't show them yet. Uh, but you can see, like, the most interesting thing about it is, like, the weird tire helmet thing, which I'll get into in a second. But the reason I wanted to cover it is, is A, I think it's an interesting design, but also, like, I feel like there's been extra discourse about the idea of the suits being oddball. I mean, every year when Sentai and Rider comes out, you get the best Sentai ever, worst Sentai ever, extreme reactions. And this time I feel like it's extra happening before, like, we even really see the suits. I mean, obviously we have the sketch. We don't know 100% how accurate it is, but it seems like it's within the neighborhood of it. Of it. I think it's funny, though, that, like, part of the reason I didn't cover the descriptions, too, is I feel like that's kind of hard for me to do because sometimes I, like, visualize it incorrectly. Like, actually, like, they, they have the tire in the, the middle of the head, like we see in that sketch, supposedly. But when I was thinking about it, when I first read it, I thought it, they said, like, the tire's in the middle with, like, the visor, and I misinterpreted it as, like, the tire was going to be like this, kind of like a horn, like, sticking out as if the tire flung into the helmet and just stuck, and then, like, the two visors would almost be, like, bug-like, like, rider. That's what I was kind of envisioning for some reason, but this is highly interesting. I, th I think it's kind of creative where it seems like the visor is going to be the hubcap. 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 Uh, it'd be funny if they spun or something. It looks like a Zeo helmet with a tire smushed onto it. Like, they accidentally, like, alchemied a, a tire and a Zeo helmet. It's certainly interesting, you know. Uh, for me, like I always say, I've been broken record when I've been talking about this or any other um, upcoming Sentai and Rider designs is, like, of course I like to see cool designs that appeal to me, but at the end of the day, all that's important to me is that the show is good. Um, in terms of designs, I feel like sometimes I sit on the fence in terms of also... Like, I love to see a cool design that I just really like out the gate. Like, King Oger. Like, there was something about the rumors about King Oger um, uh, in the early descriptions and the silhouette that I just kind of knew it was going to be something I liked, and, you know, lo and behold, I did. There was that awkward period where some of the early scans were kind of unflattering to them. But, yeah, that's, like, an I idea I really dig. Awesome, like, Insect Knights and kind of Kingdom Armor. Great. I like to see that. But I also do like to see innovative stuff, even if it's not always clicking with me 100%. I like to see them swinging for the fences, and that's one thing that I've really liked about Sentai um, over the last few years is them experimenting with different designs. You know, King Oger is closer to, like, classic Sentai designs, but stuff like the armor design has something unique about it. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been worried about the rumor that they're going to be dialing back to basics for this series in terms of writing, and I think that would be a shame to ruin this great streak of innovation. So I, I do hope that we at least continue some innovation with the designs. And this feels like a design that, if it is anything close to this sketch, will be something that will initially be kind of off-putting, where you're like, oh, that's kind of odd. But then you kind of just come around to it and get used to it. Uh, I do really like the suits, though, like the body suits. You know, I think most of the attention has been on the helmet, potentially, having this oddball look. Um, but I, I really like the way the suits look. Like I said, I kind of like the, the base form white with the uh, colored aesthetics. And I think this looks really cool, almost alien-esque to it. I think that that's going to be an aspect I really quite might like. But like I said, a lot of just immediate discourse. And everybody's going to have different things that appeal to them and get them excited for a show or put them off a show, but I just can't fathom not even being willing to give the show a chance because you don't like the suits. Like, you gotta at least give it a chance to form an actual opinion on it. Like, you don't have a right to say a show is bad if you've never watched it just because the suits aren't your thing. And I just can't imagine that. Like, if anything, the inverse has happened to me. Like, with Gotchard, where I love the suit. Like, as soon as I saw the suit and, like, the concepts, I'm like, I'm digging all this. It's right up my alley. I'll probably get the figure art. But, like, I'm not digging the show, and in particular, the protagonist. Like, I don't even know if I've ever hated someone as much as I hate Hotro right now. And that's, like, putting me off wanting to buy the figure, which sucks because I like the design. So, if anything, there's almost an inverse going on there. But I can't think of a time where like, a suit design in the show has stopped me from enjoying it. I mean, this might be kind of a bad example in a way because Geo isn't one of my favorite series, but it includes, like, some of my this, like least favorite types of ideas, which is, like, the, the final form being this amalgam, you know, kind of like Build's was, too. Build's actually a good example because I do like aspects of Genius form, but I love Build, and the fact that I'm not a fan of those forms where they make an ugly collage out of the gimmick didn't stop me from liking Build. But, like, with Geo, even though, you know, setting aside my thoughts on the series... It was never like I didn't like Geo because I didn't like some of the suits. Like, I didn't like Trinity that much either. 
But that was never a reason to not like the show. Like, usually my criticisms about the show that will drag it down will have to do with the characters or the writing or the story and not, like, the suits. Like, I'll probably mention, like, yeah, I don't like the suit. It's ugly. But it's not like this episode gets a 1 out of 10 because I didn't like Trinity Form or whatever. Although, yet again, another kind of good example with Trinity Form, that's still not my cup of tea because I'm not a fan of fusion amalgam forms usually, especially with the way they do them because it usually feels like they just want it to happen and they don't care about it looking elegant. They're like, just glue it together. But anyway, I wound up actually kind of coming around to Trinity to a degree just because I liked the story context of it being about the bond between the three characters and, you know, it kind of representing the three different timelines of the future, you know, the Geats timeline, the Waz timeline, and then the Sogo's timeline he's trying to create. So that's another good example of sometimes there are designs that I either don't like or maybe don't like immediately. And then there can be like a really good story context reason that actually gets me fond of it. Like I would be willing to pick up like a figure of a suit that I only liked okay or wasn't that fond of, but then the storyline really makes me like it over something like Gotchard where I really like the suit, but it's like, God, everything else is dragging it down, which I just find that to be interesting because again, everyone's going to be different. And I'm sure just for some reason, certain suits are going to be so off-putting to you that you just can't check the show out. But uh, for me, it's like that will happen the opposite way, where like a bad show will kind of nerf my excitement for the suits. Kind of like with the ninja suits. Like the t I've been using a lot of rider examples, but the ninja team suits are probably some of my favorite top, top 10, top 20, I don't know, Sentai Power Ranger suits. I think they're just really well designed, but I'm not that big of a fan of either series they're attached to, being Ninja Steel and a Ninja. So like, even though I love the suits, I'd be much more willing to put out suits from another season where I didn't like the suits as much, but I like the show, so... I don't know. I think it will be interesting. I definitely think that this looks interesting and innovative. My main hope, again, is just the show is good. And my main worry is just about going back to basics. I've been really proud of Sentai almost for having this, you know, string of innovative seasons in terms of both design and structure. And I want to see that continue. I think they can still go back to basics a little bit and try to capture that young audience, but still try to capture some of that innovation, maybe with the designs and structure. I think it's more about the structure. I think I, I don't want to see them go back to that purgatory formula of just, you know, the episodes being so predictable and whatnot. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. It's an exciting time. We're not that far away from the poster and all the toy catalogs, so I'm eager to see what everything looks like and, you know, what my real thoughts are on it when we see the actual stuff and, like, kind of getting an idea for what toys I might want to pick up. But let me know what you think of this possible look at Boon Boonger in the comments as always and maybe your thoughts on, like, whether, you know, the suits impact your enjoyment of a show or not. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.